Welcome to the 2024 Texas DMV written test. This test has 25 questions to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one. When two roads intersect and there are no signs or signals, which rule applies? A. The vehicle to the left has the right of way. B. The vehicle to the right has the right of way. C. The larger vehicle has the right of way. D. The faster vehicle has the right of way. The correct answer is B. The vehicle to the right has the right of way. Question 2. You are driving on a freeway with a posted speed limit of 65 miles per hour, but traffic is moving at 70 miles per hour. What is the legal speed for you to drive? A. 65 miles per hour. B. 70 miles per hour. C. 75 miles per hour. D. 60 miles per hour. The correct answer is A. 65 miles per hour. Question 3. How often should you check your driving record for errors? A. Once a decade. B. Only when you receive a violation. C. Annually. D. It's not necessary to check. The correct answer is C. Annually. Question 4. Among the following options, which one takes priority over the other three in terms of obedience? A. Traffic signals. B. Traffic signs. C. Road markings. D. Traffic officer's directions. The correct answer is D. Traffic officer's directions. Question 5. In what situations are you allowed to honk your horn? A. Express frustration or impatience. B. Greet a friend on the sidewalk. C. Warn others of an imminent collision. D. Make your presence known to pedestrians. The correct answer is C. Warn others of an imminent collision. Question 6. In what scenario might your driving record be cleared of certain violations? A. After a set period, depending on state laws. B. If you move to another state. C. Immediately after paying a fine. D. When you change your name. The correct answer is A. After a set period, depending on state laws. Question 7. What should you do when driving on slick roads? A. Increase your speed for better control. B. Pump your brakes to maintain traction. C. Maintain your usual speed and following distance. D. Reduce your speed and increase following distance. The correct answer is D. Reduce your speed and increase following distance. Question 8. What is a potential long-term impact of a DUI on your driving record? A. Eligibility for a professional driving license. B. Permanent mark on your driving record, affecting insurance rates and employment opportunities. C. Increased respect from peers. D. Automatic clearance after one year. The correct answer is B. Permanent mark on your driving record, affecting insurance rates and employment opportunities. Question 9. How can you identify a slow-moving vehicle emblem? A. A red triangle with a white border. B. A blue rectangle with a yellow border. C. A green circle with a black border. D. A yellow diamond with a black border. The correct answer is D. A yellow diamond with a black border. Question 10. When is it acceptable to parallel park in a space designated for handicapped parking? A. If you have a valid handicapped parking permit. B. If you are only parking for a short time. C. During nighttime hours. D. If there are no other spaces available. The correct answer is A. If you have a valid handicapped parking permit. Question 11. It is safest to pass another vehicle on the right when A. The vehicle you are passing is making a left turn. B. You are driving in a residential area. C. You are on a one-lane road. D. The vehicle you are passing is speeding. The correct answer is A. 
The vehicle you are passing is making a left turn. Question 12. What are the potential consequences for a first conviction of driving under the influence, regardless of blood alcohol concentration level? A. License suspension. B. Fine and community service. C. Jail time and probation. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 13. When approaching an intersection with a non-operational traffic signal, you should treat it as A. A yield sign. B. A green light. C. A stop sign. D. An opportunity to proceed with caution. The correct answer is C. A stop sign. Question 14. What is your responsibility regarding instructions from school crossing guards? A. Ignore their instructions. B. Follow their instructions only when convenient. C. Disregard their instructions during heavy traffic. D. Obey their instructions. The correct answer is D. Obey their instructions. Question 15. What is the potential hazard associated with eating and drinking while driving? A. Increased driver alertness. B. Improved concentration on the road. C. Impaired control and distraction. D. Enhanced multitasking ability. The correct answer is C. Impaired control and distraction. Question 16. What is the requirement when encountering an emergency vehicle with flashing lights? A. Ignore the lights and continue driving. B. Speed up to keep up with the emergency vehicle. C. Yield the right of way and make way for the vehicle. D. Honk your horn to alert the emergency vehicle. The correct answer is C. Yield the right of way and make way for the vehicle. Question 17. What sets driving on an expressway apart from driving on an ordinary street? A. Higher speed limits. B. Limited access points. C. Increased number of lanes. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 18. What is the purpose of minimum speed signs? A. To encourage drivers to drive at a higher speed. B. To indicate the recommended speed limit. C. To notify drivers of the lowest safe speed for a particular road. D. To enforce speed limits in residential areas. The correct answer is C. To notify drivers of the lowest safe speed for a particular road. Question 19. What is the consequence of mixing prescription medication with alcohol before driving? A. Enhanced driving ability. B. Reduced effect of the medication. C. Increased risk of an accident. D. None if the medication is prescribed. The correct answer is C. Increased risk of an accident. Question 20. What is the recommended amount of sleep teenagers should aim for each night to prevent drowsy driving crashes? A. 4 to 5 hours. B. 6 to 7 hours. C. 8 to 9 hours. D. 10 to 11 hours. The correct answer is C. 8 to 9 hours. Question 21. Which statement accurately describes the speed at which you should travel? A. Always travel at the maximum posted speed limit. B. Travel at a speed comfortable to you, regardless of traffic conditions. C. Adjust your speed to match the flow of traffic and obey posted speed limits. D. Drive significantly faster than surrounding traffic to maintain control. The correct answer is C. Adjust your speed to match the flow of traffic and obey posted speed limits. Question 22. What should you do if you have been involved in a minor traffic collision with a parked vehicle and cannot locate the owner? A. Leave a note with your contact information. B. Ignore the incident and drive away. C. Report the collision to the police immediately. D. Proceed without taking any action. The correct answer is A. Leave a note with your contact information. Question 23. 
What is the recommended distance between your car and the vehicle in front when starting to parallel park? A. About one car length. B. About two car lengths. C. The length of your car plus five feet. D. The length of your car. The correct answer is D. The length of your car. Question 24. What message do your brake lights convey to other drivers? A. You are turning left. B. You are slowing down or stopping. C. You are changing lanes. D. You are accelerating. The correct answer is B. You are slowing down or stopping. Question 25. What is a common mistake drivers make when parallel parking? A. Parking too far from the curb. B. Turning the steering wheel in the wrong direction. C. Forgetting to signal. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above.